Hello musicians, Bucket Yertle here. Welcome back. I'm doing another video tutorial today on MuseScore 2. This is the music notation software. It's open source. It's a great notation application and I would advise you if you do enjoy this software, you do enjoy this application, make sure you go to the developer's website and show your support. Okay, so um, today we're going to be talking about Grace Notes. Now Grace Notes, um, it's, it's kind of a little, uh, it's not complicated, but there are quite a few things that you might want to consider when you're, when you're looking at incorporating Grace Notes into your music. Um, first of all, <clears throat> I have a piece of music, I have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star here, and uh, I'm going to put in some Grace Notes here just to show you how we actually do Grace Notes. Now over on the palettes, you saw on the left hand side here that, that on, on the palettes at the very top I have Grace Notes, and it's a little turn arrow here, I can turn it and it will give me some options here for Grace Notes. So um, there are some that, well, I'm going to show you how to bring these over and I'm going to show you how to manipulate them so that it will look the way you want it to look. Okay, so let's just show you how, first of all, how to bring it over. I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this first one, okay, Grace Note with a slash to it. I drag it over and I find a note that I want to put it on. You see, I'm holding it. I'm holding my mouse button down and I can bring it around and find a note that I want to put it on. So let's put it on this first D. Okay, so there it goes. So now you have it there. It's, it's on as a D. There's a slash through it, um, so you might look at it and say, well, that's not what I want. Normally, a grace note wouldn't be the same note. You, you need to change it. So what we're going to do to change it is quite simple. We're just going to grab the note with our left click, and we can move the note wherever we want it to go. So uh, let, let's say we have it from a C to a D. Um, so that's a C sharp to a D. And, um, uh, and it's still, you know, you, you could write it like that. Uh, I'm a violinist, a fiddle player, so I would need to see a slur there as well uh, to make it look right. And actually, that's the way it looks up here. You, know, you see that there's slurs in the, in the way it's presented up here. So we, we're going to add a slur to this. Okay. Now, the way we're going to add a slur is we're going to go to lines over in the palette as well. So go to lines, and we can, we can grab a slur, and we can bring it over and drop it on. And then we're given some little handles that we can move it around with. See, so we can move the slur wherever we want it to go. So you can slide it around and move it where you want it to move, okay? So before, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that again, just to show you again. So let me just click off, I'll click on the slur again, and I'll just hit delete, okay? Now I wanted to show you another way you can do this. If you have, you click your, your note, like the grace note right here, you can go up to the top um, to lines right here, and you'll see slur. Okay, you can click that, and I'll show you again right here. So there's two ways to put a slur in. Um, and then you can move it around wherever you want it to go. I, again, you saw me do that. You can manipulate it wherever you want it to go. Okay. Now I'm going to delete it once again. Okay. Now I'm going to delete it again. The reason I'm going to delete it now is because I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. And you look at it, you see, if you, like as a violinist, I'm looking at it and I'm saying, <clears throat> that C sharp is a little too far away from the D. I, I think I'd like for it to be a little closer to the D. So I would click the C sharp, and then I can go over here to um, my uh, horizontal offset under chord, and I can move the note a little closer if I want it, or further away if I want it. Now you might say, Bucky, why didn't you do the offset on top? Well, watch, what, watch what happens when you do the other offset. Look, it's just, that's just a note head. You know, that'll move the note head alone. That's not what we want, of course. So you can move the, uh, if you use chord, you can move it a little closer. But then you might say, okay, well, that's too close. So this is too far, that's too close. Okay, but I'm just using my arrows up and down here. So when I go up, I go 0 0.5. Well, maybe what I need to do is move maybe, instead of 0.5, maybe only 0.1. Or maybe 0.2. You can see the note moving as I'm doing it. 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, maybe 0.3. That looks pretty good. That's nice and close. Okay, it's easy to see that it's a grace note now. And then I can, now that I got that done, I can go back and now I can put my slur in now. I can drag the slur over like I showed you before. I'm gonna zoom in again here now. <clears throat> and I can manipulate my slur to wherever I want it to be, how I want it to look, you know, what, where the angle of it is and things like that. You can make it exactly the way you want it to look. Okay, that looks nice. And then that's it, that's it, it's done. Um, so that's the slur uh, leading into the note, okay? 
Now, if you look over on our palette, we also have slurs leading out of the notes. And we don't only have eighth note slur, we can have 16th or 32nd. So let's take a 32nd note out. So I'll just take this guy and I drop him onto this note. So I drop him and here we go, we got it. Now let's make this guy up above. Okay, so that looks pretty good. They're already it's close enough. It's not too close. Let me back up to see what it looks like in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, it looks pretty good. If anything, I think that these guys here would need to move away, but I'm not going to talk about that in this uh, lesson. Um, now let's put a slur in. So I'll hit the note right here. My my, I, I like to hit the note previous, and then we take our slur, drop it on, and then we can move the slur around wherever we want it to go. Move it in like that. So it's nice and tidy. I like to aim at the very bottom most part of the note for my slur. There you go, how's that? Let's back up a little bit and have a look. See, that looks good. That looks nice. Now, the grace notes, if you just take them right out of the box and throw them on, yeah, it'll look good too. But this looks even better. So you take your time and you fine tune your, uh, your grace notes so that it, it's exactly the way you want it. It looks nice, it looks nice and tidy and it's easier to read, no doubt about it. Now, one other thing I want to show you, um, I'll, leave that, I'll leave that grace note right there. Let's say sometimes in music, you will have more than one grace note. So let's say we have, on this note here, we have two grace notes. Uh, so let's take, uh, let's use this guy. And drag this guy on. And um, actually, you know what, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this, because it's making a mess here now. Um, and you know what, let's get rid of this guy too, and get rid of our slur. And let's do it, instead of doing it on that A, let's do it on the D because it's gonna, it'll be a nice, easy way to start it. So I'll take this note, drop it on D. I'm gonna take this, another one again, I'm gonna drop it on D again. Look at this, I have two grace notes. So now I can say, well, let's make this one an F sharp. Let's make this one an E, okay? So you got, now I got two grace notes leading into my D. And I can also put a slur in, so I'll just grab my slur and I'll just drop it in. Now I'm gonna, actually, I'm not gonna do it that way. <clears throat> I'm going to hit my slur, I'm going to hit my note right here, and I'm instead I'm going to go up to the top, as I showed you before, and I'm going to go um, add lines slur. And that gives me my slur like that. And then I can manipulate it around. So I want the slur to go from that note to that note, like that. Here. Piece of cake. Nothing to it. Um, so that's two grace notes. Now you can do more than that if you wanted. But that's two grace notes. Now, as a violinist, sometimes we, we have that. And sometimes we have turns as well. Or maybe the note won't be a scalish note like that. It will be a step to it like this. So we, we might need to have variations on what these notes are. Anyway, bottom line is that we're not just stuck with um, a symbol like a turn, like a trill, or anything like that. We can fine-tune our grace notes to be exactly as we want them to sound. So good stuff. I, I really like I really like the way that this that they do grace notes here. It gives us lots of options. So just as a recap, we covered grace notes under our palettes, and we also used lines for slur. And we're gonna do more of these lines later, but but under lines we did slur. So we were able to put in one grace note, two grace notes, and we're also or more if you wanted. And we also did grace notes before the note, we did grace notes after the note. So lots of options for us. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. And if you would like to contact me about your music, I'd ha be happy to hear from you. You can get me in the comments of this post. You can also get me on the utopian.io Discord. I'd be happy to chat with you about your music. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.